do me a favor. Let's. All right, I you think can... we're going. All right, okay. Well, we, we just start. What's the time anyway? We've got. So we give everybody ten minutes to get in. Ten past we start. Right then. So this is a uh, massive wagons, giant wagon wheel day. Uh, that guy, I don't know where you're seeing him on the screen, but that guy down there is Massive Wagons. That is Baz. We're going to have a great time. Uh, we're going to teach this bloke here who can't boil water how to make a Massive Wagon Wheel. So it oh, should be fun. There's a lot of practice in here, and you've all got the ingredients. You're going to join in. Um, if you are, if you are uh, watching, you let us know. Message in the books. And uh, tell us who's baking, just so we know. Oh, I can see a little... Uh, a little star baker there. Yeah, that's milk. Got my glasses. Help. Hello, Lila. Hello, Are you, you like your apron? I can see you. Right, so if everybody messages in and tells us whether you're baking or not, then we have an idea to give you a hand to sort everything out. Whilst we're waiting for people to join in, I'll go through roughly what we're going to do. We're going to make a giant wagon wheel. Um, basically, we're going to have a shortbread. Two rounds of shortbread. We're going to sandwich it with a homemade jam, which is going to be laced with clove and if you want. Uh, we put marshmallows in it and then my famous chocolate ganache on the top and then a bit of decorations. So that's it. Um, while you're waiting, if everybody wants to chuck their ovens on to 180, get your tray in the middle and then we'll be ready to go. First up, we'll be doing the pastry. But we'll give it another five minutes. We'll just uh, probably catch up and get in. Yeah, turn the oven on 180, Baz. Ed Farden's baking, Michael Ward is baking. Hi, you Michael, are you Your dad's watching. Hi, your dad. Hi, your dad. Hi, your Right, we've got about, it's about 27, Dawn, 30. Dawn Cole, she's baking. Oh, Dawn Cole, there's more fans baking. Bob, Bob Hodges. <laughs> Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob's in the house, all right, Dr. Bob? It's Dr. not Bob. Hello, Dr. Bob. Hello, Dr. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed to bake? Yeah. Oh, why are you not baking, Bob? I thought you'd be in for it and baking. Okay, Mark's in, Helen, little Helen's in. Right, it seems like most people are in, so basically, well, I think we just as well crack on now. Um, if you're a little bit late and you need to know, just shout Helen, she'll message me, she'll tell me in the air, and then we'll go back through it and uh, get you going. Simon Hargate, who's baking. I like your apron, Lila. There's mine. Adam Beaskell's watching. I've got a white one, you got a little, little girly pink one. Right then, so everybody should have their ovens on 180 and uh, no. yeah. <laughs> Does that mean I win? Does that mean I win? Yeah, you win loads. Right. We've made our shortbread. So basically, I want to take. Did anybody notice the, the mistake that I made on purpose? just to make sure that everybody was on their toes. Uh, where I put 290 grams of flour is in fact 200 grams of flour. So what did you do, Baz? Ounces or, or grams? Oh, oh, what did I do, what did I do? Uh, 200, oh, 200 grams, I think. Oh, you got 200, yeah. On there, because I don't know. I did what, what the recipe said, hang on, what did it say? Yeah, I'm an ounce, man, I'm old. Ounce should have said 290. This is yeah, just prime hands with crust. I'm in the oh, yeah. seven ounces. Hello, Lila, how are you? Good. Are you ready to get bacon? Yeah. Lila, have you got your rum tanned? <laughs> yeah. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Lila, you've got to put the short words. What, what do we need? 200 grams of flour? Yeah. Right, I'll go through it with your buzz. All right, right. Everybody needs to have a little mixing bowl or a, a, a tub yeah, or that. something. Yeah. There you go. In that, you want to place six ounces of soft butter. 
The butter? Yeah. That's it. Three ounces of icing sugar. Three ounces of icing sugar? Yeah. Three ounces of icing sugar. Don't sit that in carefully. That one. Now go on. Dip in. Bosh. Where's <laughs> 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 Gary gone? <coughs> right. One of you. Almonds or just all flour? Oh, sorry? Did you go with almonds or all flour? Almonds. Yeah, so you want two ounces of seven ounces two of flour in there. Two ounces of almonds. Yeah, two ounces of almonds. Yeah. And then seven ounces of flour, the plain flour. So we should have four ingredients in our mixing bowl now. Do you want to take that in? Yeah. Nice one. Oh, we haven't had the shot words. Hang on, let me just. Let's get this going in the hoops first. Let's get this going in the hoops first. Up one shot. Yeah, no, we need to get this in the hoops. This needs to cool down. Yeah. Oh, 200 grams of flour, yeah? Yeah, 200 flour. There's so, uh, some people uh, watching, so I'm expecting to see 67 massive wagon wheels at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. there, there, could, there could well be. Right, so do I need to go through the ingredients for everybody one more time? Someone said they've got whole almonds. Will that still work? Whole almonds, whoever's got whole almonds, no. Right. You want ground yeah. almonds. Just leave it out and add another two ounces of flour in instead. So you keep wanting The almond just gives it um, a lighter taste. A bit of but don't put whole almonds in. Oh, sorry, Adam. Two ounces of butter, three ounces of butter. Sugar, seven ounces of plain flour, two ounces of ground almonds, or nine ounces of flour if you were missing out the almonds. Yeah, not there, darling, it's just a pinch of olive. Dip your fingers in now, and then. Want to fit in? That's it, nice one. Yeah. There you go. But we're now mixing it in. Yeah. So you want to try and do it with one hand. Then you keep yeah. one hand. And we just want to mix it up with a bit of bread. That's it, Lila, big girl. This is a good Lila job, this is. Sorry? Are you making a mess, Lila? No. Yeah. Mashed potato. No. So what we're trying to end up with is like breadcrumbs, like we should have a breadcrumby mix and then we're just going to add a tad of milk to that, not a lot, just a spoonful, just to Someone's asked me to go together. through grams, you said ounces. Grams, yeah, I'll show grams out for everybody. Um, we've got 170 grams of butter, 80 grams of icing sugar, 200 grams of plain flour, 60 grams of ground almonds, or you would have 260 if you're just missing out the almonds. That's what you should have in the bowl in grams. And then basically you should just mix it together gently with the fingertips. Just to end up with um, some nice sort of breadcrumbs. The only other problem is it's warm weather. That's probably a bit too Right, what are the shot words then? Because this is important. Yeah. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Shortbread. Shortbread, yeah. Baz, you need to pick one. Sorry? You need to pick a short word. A short, a short word? Yeah. Pumpernickel. 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 Yeah, you're, not, you're not getting it, Baz. <laughs> right, we're going to have to shoehorn that into every sentence now. What word's that? Oh! Alright, oh. shots. Everyone got their clover nude? Yeah, we've got ours. Yeah, we've got yeah. our clover nude. People in buying today, uh, this week trying to buy it. This is supposed to go like breadcrumbs, did you say? Yeah, so that's what I've got here. So, everybody see what I've got? Mm. I'm not. Mine looks like scrambled egg. Um, just keep mixing. What do you say? Put a bit of milk in as well. Get aerated. Just be fingertips like that. And you don't want to be pressing it together, yeah? You just want to literally just... 
Just, yeah, it basically just looks like wet breadcrumbs. That's what we should be looking for. Right, so when everybody's to that stage there, you want to add about, this all depends on the heat of your butter and how hot you are, wherever you are in the country, because obviously it's different heats everywhere else. But you want a tablespoon, a tablespoon of milk in there, milk it up. Yes, Lila. Now. Sorry? He said digital You've made a mess now. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> Don't go far. Right, so put in the milk. As I use my hands like that, and you just want to turn it over just to mix it up. We don't want to be we don't want to be bashing it. You want to be as light as you can. Mine's quite a wet mixture. I don't know if I'm going to need milk. Like, I feel like it would go... If you can bind it together, you don't need it, that's fine. I, don't, I think if I squish it, it will turn into Play-Doh anyway. Is that what we want? Yeah, fine then. It's just, it's the heat. It will turn into Play-Doh. Yeah, Play-Doh. Right, so now you should be starting to mix it together, and it should be starting to come to a... Well, have you put milk in that, Gary? Yeah. Sorry? I missed all out completely. The, the milk situation. What was the deal there? About a tablespoon of milk. Not a lot. But what's the consistency like? And the consistency. It should start forming a pastry. Look at that. 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 Look at it looks pretty warm anyway. Does it? Is it gonna? If you press it together, is it gonna form a, a ball? Yeah. Yeah. So perhaps skip the milk then, because it's so hot. And then we basically we should end up with a ball like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we want to get the fridge. Wrap in a bit of cling film in the fridge. Then what? Wrap in cling film in the fridge. What's so this what going to make? Which bit of the recipe is this, Gary? This is the biscuit, the biscuit base. You're going to have two of these. Which are going to going to make oh shortbread. What else do we do? What, what do we do with it now, Gary? Tip it out. Yeah, tip it out. Flour table, just a little bit of flour. Just so you can roll it in it. Good. So a little bit of love, you could end up with a knife. Yeah. Did you say we're putting it in the fridge, or did I imagine that? No, we need to get it in the fridge, because it needs to cool down. So just give it a little flatten down a little bit, is, that, is this about right? I want to do it. Then flatten it out, wrap it in some clean. Leave your house. There you go. That's good. Is that right? You're doing it right, alright. Yeah, let's turn it over. I don't know what we'll do with it now. Right, so we should all have the temperature wrapped up in the film, pat it down, yeah. fridge or the freezer if you've got space, because we need this to cool down. Good night, what happens if you don't have any cling film, Gary? Any? Oh, there's probably enough. Oh, there might be. There might be. I might have enough, Gary, actually. I might have enough. You're going to need a little bit just to cover it up, so it isn't going to make too much difference. We just need to get it cool. I'm trying to roll this out. It's a nightmare because it's so short. So put it in the fridge, yeah? Yeah, fridge or freezer. Sandwich bag. Sandwich bag, Josie. Yeah, that do. Just something to cover up so she don't get any bits in it. And if someone's just asked if it's split. 
one bit, isn't it? Uh, uh, leave it in one bit for the moment, and then we'll split it in two in a minute. Mark said, are we using baking tin today? No, a baking trays. Right, so, hopefully everybody's got their shortbread mix today. Sure. So the shortbread, yep, shots are coming. Oh. The shortbread should all be done. Should be in your freezer. Shortbread. Um, can everybody let when they've all caught up, we can move on to the next page. I'll give you a couple of minutes just to get that done. You'll notice our pastry is quite um, quite soft. That's because of the butter in it. So we need that butter. The reason it's in the fridge is the butter will firm back up in a minute. Right. Ideally. An hour, but we've not got okay. time. Just the fridge for an hour, and it'd be fine. But we're going to have to rush through it a little bit. Right. So the next stage we're going to be getting on with is we're going to make our jam. So we should all have raspberries, uh, strawberries, unless you're Josie, you've got raspberries. Uh, it doesn't really. Chop the stalks off. I haven't done that yet. I'll say that because here's a little trick. So take the straw, mm. pop it in the end, give it a little. Then you pop it up through there, and it takes the stalk out, and it say oh, it's in. But it it deholes it as well. Ooh. <laughs> Or you just cut the tops off. Basically, you don't want the green in. That's what you don't want. But there's like a little sort of. Uh, well, it works better when you have plastic straws. So if you get all your strawberries, cut the green off, get a nice little. Oh, nice. See, let me show you with a fresher straw. Yeah, see, then you get the, straw, the top comes out of the straw there. See, and when you pull that out, you get all the, the stuff comes out as well. And you'll end up with jam toast tomorrow. So there we go. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, perfect. How many strawberries do you need, Gary? How many strawberries? Uh, how much is your punnet? Let's have a look. Okay. Well, I've got a sort of a lot of, and then I've got another new punnet in the in the fridge. It would have had, I don't know, loving. Yeah, I got about. I, sort of, I haven't opened these ones yet. About 400 grams, 300 grams. Just fill your pan up. No kidding, too. I don't think I'm going to need my raspberries unless you think they'll improve it, Gaz. Uh, well, they wouldn't do it any harm, but you don't have to. You don't have to have quite enough strawberries. Fixed berry jam. Well, my strawberries are looking a bit mouldy, so. I don't mind if you make jam. If you've got big ones like that, I've got a massive one, just cut it in half. Mm. Help with that. Everybody, in there. Are you going to be the poison tester, Lila? I just wanted to have a movie. I've got about a strawberry. Come out, then. 100 grams of sugar. I'll be careful. 
Yeah, right. Right, so strawberries. <laughs> Uh, boil it down and then chucking them in. What's 100 grams of sugar in with your strawberries. We've got a pan. If you're going down the alcoholic route, we want to put a cloven hoop of rum in. Obviously, you pass it to your daughter, you just leave it out and What's that, Gary? If you don't, if you're not putting alcohol in your jam, you want to put a shot of water in. About the same water. as a shot. Hundred grams. Did you say hundred grams of sugar on top of that? Yeah, hundred grams of sugar in your strawberries. Oh, wait, that's right. Water. Wow. And then we need to get this on the heat, boiling away furiously. Oh, I want to know if you're just going to put jam, shortbread, or is there something else going in with it? Oh, it's marshmallows. Sure. I can do Shot of like liquid in that. My sugar's not even dissolved. Is that right? Yeah, you, you've got your strawberries. Shot of cloven, yeah, then sugar. What did you say? Put the strawberries on the heat. Yeah, the strawberries should be in a pan bath with a yep. shot of water and sugar. Okay. You need to boil it up now. I've got mine going there. Right, good. Yeah, mine is. Heat should it be on? Low, medium, high? High, high. We want to boil it. It's going to boil for about 10 minutes. And basically, the strawberries are all going to turn into a jam and everything's going to disappear and you'll be left with a jam. So you need to keep an eye on it so nobody burns it. I heard there was a burnt pie last week, pie man. <laughs> yeah. I heard. Right, so everybody now should be up to the stage with shortbread in the fridge or in the freezer cooling down. We should all have our strawberries on with some sugar in, a shot of water or a shot of alcohol, and they should be boiling on your pan, on your stove, full blast. Everybody should be. If you're not, follow to Helen, she'll let me learn how to. Not James is on. Terry said, "Don't burn your strawberries. Just boil it." I'll try not to burn my strawberries. I probably will then. And Bob Hodges. Up the hoop, Bob. I have half a bottle left, and I've got to get to the next round with that one. We've. <laughs> What have I missed? Anything? Right, all good. Right, it looks like everybody's all good. So I'll wait for Baz and, Baz and um, Josie to catch, get back here, and then we'll go on with the next day. The next day is going to be making chocolate ganache. Okay. Oh, port, port. Good. Yeah, yeah chuck, a, chuck a dash of port in your, in your, um, in your jam mug. Um, tip a little bit. If you put water, I just tip a little bit of the water out and put some port in. So it should be a nice jam. Okay. The only problem with this today is we've got four or three elements that need to be cooled down. Well, four actually when the short break comes out. So normally I would suggest leaving half an hour between each stage, but we'll be all night if we do that. So we're going to sort of rush for it. As long as we can get them cooled down and sorted. Right, so next, where's Baz? Baz there? He's stirring his jam. Keeping an eye on his strawberries. 
Uh, back. Probably right. Okay, then, should we go on the next stage? It's a no. lot to take no. in. Them. No, but, but. I know John Atkinson is way behind, but he said not to worry. All right, if you get stuck, John, just give us a holler and we'll sort you out. Right, so next, need another little time to pan. No, Tom. Just one, not a big one. Tomorrow, or your eggs, whatever you're eating in the morning. <laughs> yeah, what are you in the morning? <laughs> right then, bad. So you've got yeah, your, yeah, you got your pan. So now we should have our carton of cream. And basically, you want to warm this up. Pull the whole thing in. How many millilitres of cream do we want, Gaz? It's uh, 300 in that. Yeah, I've got 300, but. You know, cool. it's around, put it all in and just add a, a little bit more extra. How much you got there? I've got 300, that's all I got. Yeah, chuck it in. That's enough, that's plenty. Chuck all that in and just add, we just go slightly over with the chocolate, that's all. Yeah. What, right, what kind of heat does the cream go on? Like, the heat, we just want to bring it to the boil. Because we're going to dip our chocolate in it and then make our ganache. So we've got to keep an eye on the cream because that'll boil over. But it should be next to your strawberries. So you can keep an eye on everything together. Right, everybody strawberries looks... are going very foamy. Are they meant to be foamy? What's foamy? My strawberries. strawberries. Yeah. Yeah, there's mine. No, mine don't look like that. Mine's yeah, just... soggy. Mine looks like a pink beer. You've got that. Sorry. And eventually it turns syrupy once it gets past a certain heat. Um, right, so Baz, have you got your cream warming up? You know, I'm warming the cream up as well. I that. Keep an eye on it though, don't boil it over. Okay, so you've got cut off, it's saying vacuuming. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we make pull. We're making ganache now, so we want to boil up your 200 mils or 300 that we're putting in, because I don't want to waste any. Um, you're going to boil that in a pan, and we're going to add our chocolate to it in a second. So get that on. The old cream, yeah. No, your strawberries are going to take 10 minutes. Mine are like not, nowhere near. They're going to take 10 minutes of boiling. Okay. High pressure stuff is Gary in it. Sorry, mate. I said it's high pressure stuff in it. High pressure. <laughs> you want to be in the shop where we're baking like 300 pies in one game? It's a bloody nightmare. Little Helen's sick, can you slow down? Slow right. so down. I know Helen's a lot to take in at the moment. We've got to get all this cooled down. Oh, is cream meant to boil or yep. not to boil? Cream's to bring to the boil. Watch it doesn't boil over your pan. Who's asked me that one? So whoever's been here before, she know we're making chocolate ganache now. Um, that's Claire. Yeah, of course you've never done it. So Claire, we're going to just bring the heat up. Basically, we're warming the cream up to melt the chocolate into it. Because if you heat chocolate direct, it crystallises and goes shit, and it's like you know, it's pants. Mark Hornington's strawberries are smelling like the strawberry beer we found when we're in London. Yeah. Poker that time. Yeah, it does, Mark. Yeah. You're not far wrong now. I actually buy a few beers now and then I actually crush strawberries up and put them into my beer to make that. It's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> right, so everybody keep stirring your strawberries. Make sure they don't catch. Keep an eye on your cream. And then while the cream, while you're waiting for the cream to come to the boil, we should all have our chocolate ready. Um, grams, about 200 grams of dark chocolate. Josie's you need to be chopped up, yeah? Chocolate, yeah, just pack it up a little bit, just so it melts down a bit quicker. But you can add, if you put 300 mils in, so pasting that in the cart and just chuck a little bit of extra chocolate in, yeah? So he's putting that in. my pile to allow for me to eat some anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thinking ahead, guys. Thinking ahead. The pavement. I actually see my strawberries are starting to mush up now. Mine is still five minutes away. I think my strawberries are nearly there. They should start to turn sticky. When they're there, the liquid disappeared. So you shouldn't have too much liquid in there. My strawberries have turned yellow. Yellow? Got yeah. yellow who's that a sugar? I don't know what yellow strawberries. Chocolate sorted, what are we doing that? Are you guys? Yeah. Right. My cream's hot enough now. Is your cream hot enough, Baz? Does it look like it's nearly coming to the boil? Is it bubbling? Yeah, it looks like a bubble, bubble around the edges. You can see a yeah. bit of steam coming off of it. Now you take it off the heat. Take it off the heat. Oh. Add your chocolate into it. Add the chocolate into it, yeah? All of it? Yeah, just either put it into your bowl, whichever way you want to do it. doesn't matter. Have you melted your chocolate there? No. no, your chocolate melts in the cream. Right, I can tip the cream into the chocolate. Hang on, do need a glass of it. Leave it. So my cream and chocolate are mixed together in that bowl. Do you put the chocolate into the cream, not the cream into the chocolate? It doesn't make a difference as long as you take it off the heat. Don't have it on the heat now. You can turn the heat off. The heat will cream and store it. Cream's hot enough. Yeah, so just add your chocolate. Yeah. Turn your cream off. Don't make sure the cream don't overboil. Turn it off. Okay. Chuck your chocolate in. Leave it for a minute, and then give it a little stir up, and then we'll end up with this really nice chocolate sauce. Right. How's every strawberries coming on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're looking good. I think I put slightly too much clover noof in mine. Okay. <laughs> it's got too much water in it, there's too much liquid. Oh, it just takes longer to pour down, I just got to reduce oh. the liquid down, see? Okay, just clear some else. No, yeah, you, basically, we just got to reduce the liquid down in the strawberry so virtually all the, the liquid disappears and you end up with a jam consistency. Yeah, Dan says there's still a lot of liquid in his. Yeah, so just get it up high, nice and high. Um, Helen said, can you show me your strawberries? Right, let's unplug it and do it that way because it's too hot now. Right, right. So there's my strawberries boiling away there. Now I've probably got too much. I put too much thing in there, so I've got to like literally get rid of all that liquid first. See what, see what I'm looking like there. But I take that's about another five minutes away from uh, from doing. Right. So now, Baz, as you've got your yeah. chocolate. You put your cream yep. and chocolate together, yeah? Yeah. So now if you get a little whisk or a spoon and just stir it up, you'll notice it'll come together and make a chocolate sauce. Mm. I add two hands. Um, my little fancy whisk. Where's that from? Oh, yeah. Just mixes up that. Oh, there is that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. Come on. Nearly, nearly dropped the chocolate sauce. Right, so as you can see, mine's mixing up. Is yours looking like that, Baz? Starting to get like a nice, thick, rich chocolate sauce? Yeah, it's a thick brown sauce, yeah. Yeah, so now you need to get that into the fridge. So pop it into a little pan. What, what you got it in? 
I've got it in the mixing bowl. Oh. Have you got a little tiny, just a cereal bowl? Just put it in that, put it in the fridge. Hang on. I do have a little glass bowl, like you. Yeah, I think you need to do a new song called Banging in Your Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so there's my chocolate sauce now. Where are we to? Right, people we see that? So that's in there. So that's done. Right, that's going to be going in the fridge. That takes about 15 minutes to cool down. Let's get back in there. So hopefully everybody else's chocolate's done and in the fridge. Nice one, Claire. And so Simon Parker, his chocolate's good. I just popped a little bit more chocolate in mine, so I realised I did the whole car and the cream save so waste in there. Hi, Heidi. How you doing? You alright? Yeah, you're right. Are you meant to taste it at this point? No. <laughs> yeah. She don't, just wants to taste Don't it. taste that jam because you burn your tongue off. The jam. Don't care about the jam. The so you did milk chocolate, Josie, did you? A little bit. I did half and half. Half and half. Uh, who else was doing it? Des. Did Des do it? Are you doing it, Des, and your missus? Did you talk her into the um, dark chocolate yeah, side? Right, so there I've got an amazing, nice, thick chocolatey ganache sauce. That's going to go in the fridge now just to firm up a little so we can work it later on. Mark, so can we do the marshmallow now? Marshmallows. Yeah. Sure. You have to get shots in today, isn't it? Because there's so, much, there's so many things we've got to get done. It's like, oh. It goes dead simple because once all them three bits are done, we're just waiting around. I'm just eating the ganache. Where's Lila? She'd like this. Have you got any spare strawberry? Strawberry in the ganache. She's, eating, she's having a tea. Oh, my um, my jam's starting to catch, Gary. Yep, yeah, right. It's not burning, is it? No, but it's it's like <laughs> looking it's, angry. Yep. Yeah, so is it looking like jam now? Is a lot of liquid gone? Is it turned sticky? I'll show you. Can you see that? Uh, give it a stir. Laptop, a ganache spoon. Yeah, that looks like it's getting, that still needs a little bit longer. Okay, shall I turn it down a little bit? Yeah, turn it down a little bit, but just keep stirring it, and all you'll, you'll notice it'll all suddenly start to turn into the sugary, it, it'll turn into jam, basically. Just, what we're trying to do is boil all that liquid. So what I'm going to do is, because I put a double shot of clover noof in, being greedy, I'm going to tip a little bit of liquid out of mine just to speed it up. So if anybody else, what's your jam like? Is it still liquidy bad? Or? Uh, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, very. <laughs> Looking all right, though, I think. Yeah, has you got it up high heat? Yeah, high heat, yeah. Do we sieve the jam? Nah, well, if you want it, fussy you could, but why would you want to get rid of the strawberries? Me. Mine's, but... got, mine's got a load of raspberry pips in. Yeah, that's right. You have jam, raspberry jam with pips. Well, yeah, I just, you just mash it up a bit, just give it a bit of a bash and then stick it in the fridge. But when we get this in the fridge, we do need to lay this quite flat, as in like um, a thin bowl, because this does need to cool down. Obviously, the temperature is at. If you put it in a deep dish, it can take ages. So you want to like put it in a bowl and get it flat. Geraldine said, "Is the jam going in the fridge?" If your jam's done, get get it in the fridge, Geraldine. Like I just said, you need it in a very shallow dish so we can get it to cool down. How do you know when your jam's ready? Basically, when you stir it and it starts sticking to your spoon. Yeah. Well, hang on. Let me give you another close up. Yeah, go on. Here you go. Right. Yeah. You've asked. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Is that ready or more? Uh, that's everybody watching. That's what we're looking for. 
You want that? You can see it. It's like all the liquid's gone. It's just like a sugary. Yeah, it's all kind of together now. It's yeah. there's no like separate yeah. entities. I think that's what mine's like. Yeah. Looking. That's what we should be looking at. Joseph's beat. That done me. She's done jam before me. Ah. First one in. So now you need to get that in the fridge. Let's get me ganache in the fridge. We're putting the jam in the fridge, yeah? Yeah, only if you look like Joseph's. Does it look like only mine? Like, only if you look like Joseph's. Have a look. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, it's can you see like, it? Can you see that? Thick glue like for lumps of squabbers in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Right, let's have a look at the show me yours. Hang on a minute. This is fine. It's four nine o'clock, Barry. There you go, squat. Burn me hand. Oh, that's looking all right. right now. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, there you go. How's that look? Give that a stir. A bit of stir. A third degree burns, then. I know, it's, it's the, uh, it is dangerous stuff. The burn I had last week, I had a smiley face. Burnt me arm. In there getting bread, a loaf of bread slid down onto my arm, and I was like, Oh, I couldn't get it off, and I had a big burn like that. Nightmare. <laughs> You've got skin made of asbestos, Gary, I bet, after all these years. No, I ain't burning. It hurts. Um, Mark said, What is happening today? Is Josie taking the jam? Yeah, she's taking the jam. Yeah, she's taking the jam. Banging it in the fridge. Yeah, get your jam in the fridge. I didn't hear what Mark said. Lucky I'm half deaf, Mark. Good. Mark said, is in the fridge and we have straw for jam. Good. Mark said, Paul is fair. Right then, so I'm um, hopefully by the sounds of it, everybody's got ganache done, everybody's got jam done. Claire and Lou yeah. both runny jam. Okay, if you've got runny jam, keep boiling it. Just keep boiling it for a bit longer because it will thicken up the change in temperature, the chemical thing that happens with sugar, and it goes stickier. So keep doing it, and you will end up with it. Um, for everybody else, then now you need to go and get your shortbread. From the fridge. Go and get that. The shortbread. Short short. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, Claire said her jam is boiling. It's okay, isn't it? Yeah. Claire, mine's still boiling. I put too much clover nook in. I was being greedy. So that's going to take a little bit longer for me. But as long as I like it flat in a minute, okay. it'll be fine. But now we're going to crack on with the short. Stop. Right, so everybody should grab yourself a baking tray mm. with a little bit of a greaseproof paper on it just to cook it on. What if we don't have any greaseproof paper? Newspaper, will that do? What paper? Newspaper. Newspaper, will that do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you not got greaseproof? No. It wasn't on the menu, Gary. It wasn't on the... It wasn't on the... Gary, was it? Yeah, right, so get a little bit of... Um, have you got salt, margarine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get a little bit of margarine and just rub it over the tray, just to stop it sticking. Not newspaper then. Ah, uh, newspapers. Do you know, weird enough, do you know what you can do with newspaper? If you go and catch trout or do your fishing or whatever you like trout, right? if you go and get that whole fish, soak your newspaper in water, wrap your fish in it, bake it in the oven for like 20 minutes, you pull the paper off and all the skin and everything comes off in the paper and you're left with just the fish. There you go. Bubbling yeah. your jam. Yeah, my jam's nearly there. Right, so everybody should be at the stage now where you've got a baking tray ready, you've got a cool down shortbread. You want to take your shortbread. I mean, if you can guess it, fine. If not, stick it on the scales, weigh it. We want it half, so two bits basically. 
the bacon, this is the bacon tray out of the oven, yeah? What I'm doing is, um... Are you going to have two baking trays, or are we putting it, doing it on one? How does this work? I've got a big baking tray, you should be able to get it on the one. It's just a baking tray out of the oven, yeah? Yeah, where have you, yeah, where have you got it? You've, is it, you haven't had it in the oven, have you? Yeah. I have. Oh, no, 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 you don't want it in the oven. Run it under the cold tap first, just cool it down. I thought you said put it in the oven before. Yes, it did. Put the oven on. <laughs> Why would you put an empty baking tray? Put the oven on and put it in the middle, middle of the oven. <laughs> just run it under cold water. Just cool it down. Burn yourself over. He's having a zombies, he is. <laughs> It won't take long to fry. Once you get it in your hands, Mark, trust me, it's butter. It falls out. Right, so. Paul Damon said you could put it in the oven as well. I did tell you to put it in the oven. Oh, it's Sorry. my bad. I, apparently, Baz, I did tell you to put it in the oven, everybody's Sorry, telling me. Uh, my bad. Like, so got just run it under cold water. Just put, put this on it, it's just melt. So if you've got it cooled down, Baz, yeah, and if you greased it, I think so. Yeah. Now take your what pastry. Was that, what was that actually as well? What? Right, you want to cover that in half. You want to cover that in half. Cut it in half. Like half. We should end up with two bits. Right. And you want a little bit of flour board just to help you out with dusting. He was a dog, wasn't he? Two bits. Only with us. 180, already up. Oh, do we need a roll then, No, the point no. is so off, you just do it by hand. Right, so basically, like that. Yeah. Two big scones. Yeah, basically, and then just roll them around with your hands like that. Then flatten it out. You want it about um, about of six inches across, I reckon. But keep it floured underneath. Make sure you keep adding flour to keep it moving around, otherwise you'll never pick it up. You don't put it on any fancy tray like that. <laughs> Literally, I'm just pressing. Do you want to unplug? If you unplug and then come down and then show people. Uh, we can turn, can we turn that? Can't see. Oh, you've got to hand on glass. I need to turn the screen around or can you do it from there? Uh, no, we need to. Yeah, I'm going to be on my worst image on for singing songs. Turn that on. Right, that's it. No, I'll hold that up. Right, now we've got to see you. Right, so, you want to be shaping it. We want to get around. Can you see, Gary? No, I can't see anything. Black. I haven't, it's gone on dark. Alright, I'm going to turn it the other way then. Oh. Right, hang on. There we go. Right, what's she done? How do I turn this around? There we go. So turn that around. Oh, that's because we're going to turn it around. Right, so. Can you see? Flour on the table, your two discs, keep your flour underneath, and then just keep working it around like that, shuffling it around. Oblong because it's frozen. Yeah, we'll work it into a ball in your hands and it'll soon fall out. Mine was frozen ish. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we're not looking for perfect circles here because we're going to cover it with chocolate and everything in a minute anyway. As long as you get a rough sort of shape, you're looking for about a side plate shape. Oh, how thin does it want to be? Um, let's. See, I've got a bowl there, which is um, just a normal cereal bowl. Actually, that looks good, Baz. That size. Oh, thanks, yeah. 
Appreciate yeah. the vote of confidence there. <laughs> Looks like you're making pizza. Not, yeah. getting much yes. not getting much encouragement from Gary, so thanks, Helen. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, so you want about six inch salt bit, and then we need to get that up. You'll notice it's quite, um, right, that's how thick it wants to be. Can you see that? It's about that's half like, an that inch looks thick. Fine. That looks fine. Basically, you try not to handle it too much because it does get quite soft. So you pop that yeah. in one corner of your tray, and then the other one's going to go in the other corner. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's okay. As long as we keep flour underneath, you'll all be fine. There we go. Did you put stock on your tray, Baz? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Gotta find out, are we? It'll come off because we've got butter in it anyway. Josie, I mean, how are you doing? That looks hard. Um, I've got literally rock solid dough, so I'm kind of melting it. I'm kneading it to melt it a bit. Yeah, and then... yeah. it soon melts because the butter's. I don't think it's going to be my finest work, put it that way. Let's have a look. Yeah, well. Have a look. Can you see it? That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's a bit of the moon at the moment. Right, so you should have two bits, circles, like that. Yeah. Now just take a fork and prick them. If you put yours in the oven, Baz, take it out of the oven and... <laughs> oh, just put it in the oven. Is he waiting on the bin? Come to the oven, yeah. I'm put it in the oven. Put it over the door. Dust that, hey, hey, hey. You got excited. <laughs> it's not a race, Baz. Oh. Not in no, the it oven, didn't. Josie. It's not in the oven. <laughs> so fork, prick it. Just stops it rising up too much. Oh. Josie, it's like your first one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that looks fun. You don't have to be too perfect, honestly. That looks all right. Please, I've got to make it quite big because I've got decorations that are quite big. Okay. You've got tiny hands. <laughs> Can you... Right, let's see where everybody's at. Oh, damn, I'm down now. Yeah, I agree. Right, keep trying to make that out, please. Sorry, I just got a sticky tape on the iPad and I take it down. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so where's Josie to? Talk to me and then She's I can see one. what you're doing, Josie. Someone with them. It's a cake, isn't it? All right. Have a look. Yep. Have a fourth pack of cake. Are you drunk, Gary? Yep, that looks. How do I get Josie up big? Can I get her bigger? She needs to talk. Talk, Josie. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Fine, now you should be able to fit another one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, right, yeah. I'm doing that, mate. Right? <laughs> oh, solid. This is me trying to throw up, Gary. Stop doing that. There you go. It's seasickness, mate. Yeah, that's because I'm like, there you go, I can see it. Now, now show me it now. It's alright, yeah? There yeah, we go. This is, I'm gonna throw this up. is this just, is rock solid. Just hold it like that. Your hands would just melt the butter in about two seconds in this heat. Don't oh, what? Cold hands. Go on, Joe. Go on, Joe. I might as well do some washing uh, up. Yes, I don't know. Uh, we're 180, so it's, it's, you're cooking it. Whatever, whoever's asking the gas mark, whatever you cook your... um. Sunday roast. No, whatever right. you cook your cakes yeah. on, like a lower temperature, because it's basically just shortbread. It's going to go in there for about 10 minutes. So what time do I put ours in? Two minutes ago. Bass put these in with me. How would you make them the same size? Like, are you doing it by eye? Sorry? Are you doing it by eye, like making them the same size? I'm just guessing. Did oh, you literally oh. divide it in half, yeah? Did I what? You, you divided your pastry in half. Yeah. Yeah, by so eye. if you divide it in half, you should have two same bits. To be fair, it's going to be hid with chocolate and stuff and... Do you have any like hilarious Gordon Ramsay style put downs, Gary, for anyone? No? Put downs? Nah, I wouldn't want to be like him. I worked for a chef like him once before. Yeah, he oh, threw right. a ham at me, hit me in the chest. I always remember that. But he was the best chef I ever worked for. <laughs> a ham? Yeah, I learned you know a ham at you. <laughs> um, I was here, I said something, when I swore at him and I was in the fridge, I didn't swear at him, I swore at something he told me to do. And he got this oh. rack of 
lobbed it at me like that, hit me right there. But that's the day when you can bully people. Michael Alex, 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 once, Alex once worked in a kitchen and his boss hit him in the face with a fish. So, so Alex tipped an industrial vat of margarine on the guy's head and he got sacked. Plugging the thing in. Yeah, yeah, we uh, yeah, this chefing was it was like working like Gordon Ramsay when I used to do it. I bet it's not like it nowadays, it's hammed up I think, but it was definitely like that. Right it was working yeah. McDonald's, it was just like that. Yeah, it's because people, customers come in and because they're like, it's a takeaway or the food or whatever it is, they want it there and then. Apparently it's Gas Mark yeah. 4. Gas Mark 4, everybody, apparently. A lot of people have been helping her out. <laughs> Alright, I want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the oven, if you fripped it, yeah? Yeah. So, yours in the oven yet, Josie? No, I'm just on the final oh, stages. In the middle, yeah? In there, Baz. In the middle. In the middle. Yeah. Mmm, it's quite nice. Middle of the other hand. Yeah. It's a ten minutes, Baz. What's the time? Yours is out in about ten minutes. Hold on, Gary. Hold on. Alexa. Time ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Ish. There you go. We, we have a look and we decide. Oh, Christ. Yeah, we'll have a look and decide whether it's out in eight or ten. That is, oh it's just a take that. Right, so, your jam's in the fridge, Baz, yeah? Jam's in the fridge, Gary, yeah? Chocolate's in the fridge. Chocolate's in the fridge. And yeah, shortbreads in the oven, baking. Yeah. yeah. What's that, Joe? Baking life's easy. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just a piece of cake. Once this comes out, literally. Hey! I see what you did there. <laughs> You've been dying to use that one, haven't you? Crap. I haven't put my jam in the fridge. <laughs> I was talking to everybody, I've got hot jam here. Jam here? I want to see a doctor about that. Right, so we've got about 10 minutes to talk now. What are you doing with these, boys? Do what? What's happening with these? Oh, they're, they're in a minute. Yeah, you don't need to worry about them. That's, we need to get our shortbread out. We need to get it cooling down for about five minutes in the, uh, in the fridge. <gasps> then... I've got to cook them. You've got to what? You didn't prick them, did you? So we got about 10 minutes, Baz. So do you want to talk about your new album and tell it to all your fans that are on it? Well, Mind you, you're not for talking about that, Gary. <laughs> oh, I bet you are, isn't it? Talk about your new album. My new album. We've got new T-shirts coming out. Pie Man, oh, yeah. yeah, Pie Man Live Lockdown T-shirts. <laughs> I'm doing the fun thing. My mate designed it for me. It's actually really good. Let me find my phone. You sent me. Uh... You sent the Airborne guys some pies, did you, and they played, or did, was there, did I see that? Was that last year? Yeah, they played at Froome, which was just up the road from us. So yeah. we went up, and uh, they were, that, that was the hottest gig I've ever been to in my life. It was absolutely manic. But, uh, we, it's got cheese, cheese and grain, is it called, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, if you ever get a chance to play there, you should go and play there. It's, uh, it's, I think, is it a thousand? But we used yeah. to do a farmer's market there, so it's really weird. Right on the stage where we used to pile all our pies. And uh, we did a farmer's market every, we did it for about 10 so years. Who's we seen there? Stone Broken. Yeah, seen Stone Broken there, uh, Glorious. Broken with Rebels. Yeah, Broken with Rebels, uh, Airborne. But Foo Fighters oh, played that, didn't they? Really? Oh, right. The year before that, Secret Glastonbury gig, yeah. they did one right, for Glastonbury. Because Glastonbury's only like 10 miles down the road from there. So they, right. they came to that. Oh. 
Bob wants to know how many tracks on the new album, Buzz. I like it. I like it's it. Quite cool. Cool. There are a lot of people, because everybody sort of does this, and it's like their highlight of the week, because they've got nothing to do. Nobody can go to the pub, see, can they? So everybody comes on here, cooks something, gets drunk, has something to eat, and they all want something to, like, remember it by. <laughs> I get to come in and buy aprons and that, like, just to give their husbands, because they've been doing it all this time. Uh, yeah. That's cool. Taking today, I think. Right, where's Josie, girl? She's there. Right. Everybody... So are you supposed to be talking about this T-shirt of yours? Oh yeah. Oh, I nearly brought that. This T-shirt, as everybody knows right now, mad times all around for everybody. Um, but the one thing that's probably going to take longer than everything to get back to normal, unfortunately, is live music. Um, so there's a lot of venues, obviously, in very tough times at the moment um, because you still got to pay rates and bills and stuff, even if you're not open and taking any income so um, natal and marshall have teamed up with the save our venues um charity to help raise some money for the music venues trust so if you like this t-shirt it says on it i've got the music in me and on the back it's got marshall and natal somewhere um, you can grab one i believe on if you go to the marshall website there should be a link to them, um, yep. and all, all profits go towards keeping the venues open, which is it's a bad touch. You've done the song, haven't they? Um, the TPD one. Yeah. I've got, I got music on there. I saw Stevie was repping one earlier. Yeah. Yeah, because um, well, on their album, they've got a song called "I've Got the Music I've in got Me." The music in me. There you go. Yeah. The bad but, question, I didn't even know it. Good album. Um, Simon Murray said, can you do a 4XL and you'll order one? Simon Murray this, wants a 4XL. This, this, is, is, um, this is, this. I don't actually have control over the sizes of this t-shirt. Um, I'll have a look, let me have a look on the website now and I'll tell you if they've got them, what sizes they've got. And if they don't, I, I can shoot them a message and see if they can do it. Let me have a look. Hey Baz, you know you've got to pick a winner today, don't you? Pick a winner? Yeah, Star Baker. Basically, oh, right. they made it, they send all their pictures in, and then you've got to judge it, whoever you think's best, and they win some clothes and goodies. You can, you can say you can say hello, you can say hello to my mum if you want. She's doing this. Jeanette. Jeanette Mills. Hey. Hello, Jeanette. How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> so you're having a competition between yourself, we can do the best massive wagon wheel. Yeah, there is no competition between me and my mum when it comes to cooking, Gary. No competition. <laughs> By the looks of things, they only go up to 2XL. But if there's um, demand for bigger, I can definitely feed that back to them and um, see if they can do bigger because they exist. So I think um, it will be good. Anyone who wants to get involved can. Right, so everybody now coming up to some sort of point of your shortbread being ready. Sure. Mm. <laughs> I've got one minute on mine. Basically, what we're looking for should be like a, a very pale bait with just round the edges, just starting to colour. Because shortbread has, has this habit of carrying on cooking, so you don't want it all brown because it would be just rock hard. You just want to sort of have the edges sort of just starting to colour and the middle feels a bit firm. But I'll show you at mine in a second. I've got about a minute to go on mine. Helen's got three on hers. Three on Helen's. Did you time yours, Baz? Oh, yeah, you like got How long is that on the timer? Three minutes and 10 seconds, Gary. You want 10 seconds? Wow. Two minutes and 10 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's mine. That's done. As you can see, just around the edges, it's just starting to colour and it's firm to top. Just colour in there. That's when it's ready. 
So now, right. it's a look. There you go. So you just see, it's very pale on the top. You can just see it starting yeah. to go outside. Okay. So that's what you're looking for. Now you need to get that off of the tray. This is where you need your grease proof. So Baz, you might just have to leave yours on the tray for a couple of minutes just to firm up. But if we can get it yeah. off the tray, down a bit quicker. So basically, you just want to hold your paper and then just slide it off. We're doing it quick. I'm always doing that break in it. Could you just ask? Shut that, eh? You've done that before, haven't you? Sorry? I said you've done that before. Yeah, a lot of times. Mm. Uh, it, the quicker you do it, the better. Great off. All right, so that's just cooling down. I'm going to give that about two minutes. I'm going to get on a couple of trays, pop it in the fridge. Uh, you Joseph, brought... oh, sorry? sorry. I said you brought us one of these. It downloaded. You know, was that? Did you bring us a? Yes, you did, didn't you? A massive wagon wheel. A big one. But that was the first time I'd ever done it. That that one was <laughs> a, <this> one's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That one was a bit too. Yeah, it was good. It was slush. Yeah, but it wasn't how I wanted to do it. But this one, I've worked it out how to do it, see? <laughs> no, yours was good, Baz, honestly. <laughs> I just, I, I, I'm a, it's perfectionist. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't get any of it. Baz read it all. <laughs> uh, Josie, what was the Marshall? Was it Marshall.com? I put the link yeah. in the chat. It's, oh, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's actually on Backstreet merch. If you Google, yeah. I'll just Google Marshall Save Our Venues campaign, and it came up. I've put, I've put the link in the um, comments there. There you so, go, Simon. You've got all of that. You should be able to find it. It's a bit squidgy, my, my Gary. It's a bit yeah, what? It's squidgy as well. A bit squidgy on top. Just give it another, give it another minute then. Another, is it starting to brown around the outside, though? Oh, not really. If it hasn't, just give it another two minutes. Each of, everybody's oven's different. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's starting to brown around the edges. It's just a bit soft and squidgy in the middle. Yeah. Give it one more minute then. Geraldine's just one said, should pastry be a bit... Yeah, it's soft to touch, Geraldine, but like I say, just around the edges, you should just start to see a colour. We take it out, and then once you cool it down, it starts to harden back up, because it's, it's shortbread, basically. Shop. <laughs> oh, it's got the link now, okay. Thanks, Josie. Yeah, mine's still very squidgy. It's, not, it's looking a bit anemic at the moment. Yeah, they will look anemic. Yeah, but you some... just, yours, yours hasn't been in as long as ours, though, has it? Alex, no. Alex has needs another five minutes. But don't overdo it. Yeah, though. don't overdo it, Alexander. It literally, once it starts colouring around the outside, Turns hard. Um, see if I can get mine out on a plate now. Oh, Frank Turner is doing an online game for the Cobblestones and Bridgewater on Wednesday. Yeah, we. Um, so oh, Cobblestones, yeah. your Frank Turner, that thing. Yeah. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. That was cool. That's for that's for the music venues trust as well, I think, and that's the money yeah. from that's going to cobblestones. Uh, you was there with bad touch, wasn't you? Yeah, I was. Right. As you can see, mine does look pale, but if you look there, it is colouring around the outside. And then if I fill the top, that's firming up already. So can I? Oh, he nearly lost it. <laughs> He's on the plate then. So yeah, so that's what you're looking at. So the lady, was it Alexander, who was saying it was a yeah. bit pale? Don't yeah. overcook it, because it has a habit of cooking, and it cooks right through and goes too yeah, hard. It's too crunchy. So I wouldn't worry about it looking a bit pale. Basically, you're looking for a biscuit. When you go and buy biscuits, very rarely are they um, dark. So, do you reckon this is ready, Gaz? Right, so uh, no, yours looks no. a bit, a little bit longer because you was you were five minutes behind me. <clears throat> right, so now I've got both of mine on two plates, and I'm just going to pop these in the fridge to get them cooling down. Um, normally, again, like I say, you just leave them out, but because we need to get it done, 
We need to get stuff in the fridge. I should have told people to do fridge space. I did, I put a post up earlier and said you need a bit of fridge space. Right, so, how's yours looking, Paz? The bit's still a bit squidgy in the middle. It's like nice, it's going brown around the edge, but the, right in the centre, it's a bit fizzy, a bit sort of. Have you, you've got it out, you've took it out of the oven, have you? I haven't, do you want me to? Uh, give, it, give it another 30 seconds, then we'll take it out. But like I say, cakes, uh, biscuits, carry on cooking. It's really weird. We do Easter biscuits at Easter, and you have to undercook them, yeah, they because they just carry on. It's really weird. Biscuits just yeah. keep doing it. <laughs> science, this isn't it? Huh? Sorry. Okay, it's a science. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, I've covered the. Ah! It's hard, Gary. I'm having a nightmare. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they look yeah good. I can see the colour on the outside. That's good. Perfect circles. Yeah, so you leave them yeah. for about two minutes. Good luck getting them out. You've got to, like, a minute, you've got to get these off of that tray. See, uh -huh. I have the paper. You know got the paper. But if you break them, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we we'll hide it. it. You get, you we gets, hide it. If it breaks them, uh, it gets hit. Of, we're covering it in chocolate. Oh, oh. Keep your baking tray handy, though, because we've not finished with the baking. Oh, my God. Keep your baking tray handy. Well, yeah, James, okay. shortbread. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How many bits did it break into, Mark? Mark's just dropped his. <laughs> <It's too laughs> Couldn't they not be a pricey guy? Oh, you want to leave the oven on? Leave the oven on, because we need it for another five minutes just to melt uh, marshmallows down. Oh. Shot. Marshmallows is shot. Um, does it matter if you use pink? Does it have to be white marshmallows? Nah, if you've got pink, it's fine. I just like because in the actual tra traditional wagon wheel, we is white, isn't it? But pink's fine. Yeah, if you do that. But it's I've got, I've got giant ones. What's every yeah, these, are Gary. these are so much better. Yeah, yeah. So you can just what we're gonna do is gonna. When the jams, when we get the the, the shortbread cool, we Shot. put a layer of jam. Uh -huh. Then we like sit them around them. like that. <laughs> then <laughs> sit them around like that. And then we pop that layer back in the oven for about oh. four minutes. Right. Bring it. We pop the other one on top, and all the marshmallows melt like uh, they Shot. all melt in together. What do you reckon, Gary? Should we go for it? Oh, don't know, did you mention, right? Everybody who's baking, if you post a picture of what you've done, there'll be a prize for the winner, which Baz selects. The best looking wagon wheel will get some clothing posted to them. So, right. don't try and get it off here now, Gary. Sorry, Baz. Oh, no, yeah. it's going to break. It's going to break, Gary. You've got like a spatula, Baz. You've got like a pizza, so like a spatula. Right. You can go in from both sides. It's in the bottom of the washing bowl. Right, so have you got a space to put it onto on your table there? Or have you got Can a plate? Out. Can I just flip it over? No, no. <laughs> have you got a plate? Get yourself a plate. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> We're all watching now, Baz. No problem. Yeah, don't go eating all them, Josie, because you've got none left. Right. This is why people. This is why people buy wagon wheels, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> right. So now get your slice, and you want to get one of them onto that plate as quick as you can without breaking it. Try and just slide it off, like I did with the paper. <laughs> is, that your best, is that the technical advice, Gary? Get it on there as quick as you can. Oh my God. Yeah, you want to get there. 
Does he need to like no, put his looks... plates on it and then flip it? Don't break. Break. Okay. This but is make this... sure you lose first. Sorry? Right. Yeah, I have done. I have done. It's still breaking. Can you yeah, catch so his plates on top of way it? Around. Yeah, it's, it's knackered, Gary. It's broken. It's a mess. Yeah, you'll be fine. We can, we can fix that first. As long as you get this on the plate. Honestly. What you need to do is just get... Try and get this. Does he have... Does the other one move? That side. The bit that's broken off moves, yeah. Wait. <laughs> right, see, so get the best bit off and then leave the other one on the tray. So if you can get that one off, you need two. Have you got two? I have uh, an after go. Hang on. <laughs> Mark said his looks like a shortbread jigsaw. Yeah, it will. So long. Right, so all you want to do, Baz, is concentrate on getting one off in one piece if you can. No, you can't take it like that. It's broken, Gary. There's nothing I can do. Right, it's so broken on the tray. It's a million pieces. <laughs> Right, what's the best bit? We need to keep the best bit for the top and the worst bit for the bottom. Is that all right? Right, so worst bit. <laughs> Off worst bit, right? We need the worst bit. Yeah. It's gonna go on the bottom. The worst which is, bit. The, the worst shit bit. <laughs> yeah. Which is the worst? The one on the tray or the one on the plate? Well, right. Well, they're both as bad as each other, but the one on the plate is in about a million currently. So, right, the one on the tray is still in one piece, but which it won't be when I move it. Which one are pieced together better? If we jigsaw it back together, that way. <laughs> Play. It's a big ask, Gary. You're asking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So, right. Let's let's have that one on the tray. You see on your baking yeah. tray. Can yeah. you push it together? Will it make a round circle? It is currently a circle. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's good then. If it's in a circle, leave it. Right, so you're going to leave that, and now we're going to put the jam on it. Right, so if everybody else is up to our stage, get your jam, your chocolate out, and your marshmallows. Right, so hopefully everybody's got jam, chocolate, marshmallows, and a biscuit base on a tray. That's what you yeah. need. Right, so on this, Baz, what you're going to do is you're going to get your jam. You don't have to use it all. Don't think you need to put it all on. But you want to spread your jam over your biscuit base on your tray. Okay. As you see, I'm just sort of spreading my jam around a little bit. Hey, Lila. I wouldn't get your hopes up. <laughs> it will taste, no matter what it looks like, it will taste amazing, Baz, guarantee it. Well, there's Don't absolutely get... no doubt, Gary, it will taste better than it looks. No doubt. But even if it tasted awful, it would still taste better than it looks. 
Right, so I spread my jam all over my... Just like a pizza. <laughs> yeah, basically, that's what you're kind of looking at. We're making like a sweet pizza Mark now. Mark said all the jam or not? Um, it depends how much jam you've made, Mark. Um, if you can see mine there, if you put too much on, it all just comes out. So you don't want too much, but if you've got any left, that's good, Buzz. Yeah. So Ian Corbin says his face is still warm. Is it all right to put the jam on? Yeah, because this, this is going in the oven again. So you, you're good. Right, so now you want to take your big marshmallows and then you want to plonk them around. So start on the edge and then just work your way around. But give it about... If you can see, I'm not going too far on the edge because these will come out, but you want about that much in from the edge of your circle. It's gone really quiet now, everybody's marshmallowing. Mm, top. Oh, yeah. Just around the outside. No, fill them when you've done the outside bath, fill the middle in as well. Right. Um, Claire Merritt said my jam has only gone into cool and my shortbread is boiling. Uh -huh. More rum then. Shortbread is boiling. Boiling up. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Just give it a minute. You're, you know, you can see what we're doing, Claire. So you can always. I mean, this is pretty the easy part now. Once we've got all them things made. So basically, everybody should end up with something like that. Yes, yeah. something like that, yeah. Yeah, see, so I told you, you've hit the yeah. bottom already, haven't you? Yeah. So there's a bonus. Yeah, Somehow we just got to... We haven't got the what? top on yet, Gary. Sorry? I said we haven't got the top on yet. Don't get too confident. What's the top look like? Can I have a look? See, really? That was the potato fritter. <laughs> Wrong with that? Right, so if everybody's at that stage there, yeah, you need to pop this back in the oven about four minutes. Four minutes? Yeah. Basically, we just want to melt the marshmallows enough to make them sticky so we can get the top on. Right, and four minutes. Cool. Right, so my marshmallow's in there, boiling sure. it up, doing away in the oven. Hopefully everybody else's is in there. Uh, Claire, you've just seen what we're doing, so if you want to hold on five minutes, let all yours catch up. You can do that. I think she's that. messing around with me. Oh, she's messing around, is she? Yeah. Um, but now she'd also have a box like that. Of course, you're releasing a massive wagon. <laughs> 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 it won't be a problem. It will hide it. See, this is the thing with cakes. This is the beauty of cakes, right? You can hide anything. Literally. Even Libby, she made yeah, a cake put, and it was dipped. Yeah, you put chocolate on, you hide it, it, mess mm -hmm. it. it just cho chocolate and cream cover everything up. Not a problem. But right, is your. As? Keep going. What? This goes back in the oven now. Yep, you've got your marshmallows on. Yep, back in the oven, four minutes. Four minutes, okay. Yeah, well, just it's that. four or five minutes. Basically, you don't want to colour your, you want to melt your marshmallows, but you don't want to colour them. Um, Baz, if you just follow suit with me, when I look at mine, because we went in at the same time. But the whole idea is this, is we're going to soften the marshmallows up, and then we take the second base, put it on, and it naturally all sticks together. And then that gets your, your wagon wheel. Um, I, I overcooked my bases a bit, so can I whack it in the microwave instead to melt the marshmallows? No, uh, it'll be fine. You'll just have a crispy base, that's all. Don't, don't want to put it in the microwave. Just pop, it oh literally take long in the oven. Yeah, you did overdo it. It'll be fine. Because you're only cooking the bottom anyway again, isn't you? And it's not in there that much. It's not in there too long. Mark said you can even buy gherkins inside chocolate. Oh, yeah, you can eat gherkies inside chocolate yeah. as well, can't you, Josie? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. They I were, thought it was licorice. They were nice. They were it was good. horrible. Yuck. 
Right, so we're about two. We're about two minutes away, Baz. Two minutes away, everybody! Two minutes! <laughs> so what we're gonna do with yours is we're gonna when the marshmallow comes out, you need to be pretty thrifty at getting this biscuity jigsaw back on there. So if you can somehow make a sort of circular or like a layer and then it'll stick into the marshmallow. <laughs> You can't just keep mashing it. If you've got smaller marshmallows, people, it probably won't take as long. Yeah, that's John. It literally, we're just, we're just doing it enough to soften the marshmallow. It's only a couple of minutes. Mini ones he's got. But in a minute, Buzz, the chocolate is going to go all over that and it will hold it together. You won't notice it, trust me. Not Right, there we go. Right, yours will be done now, Baz. Baz, go and grab Matt the oven. <laughs> Where's he gone? He's gone. No, that's Josie. No, Baz was there. Right, so Baz, if you can see me, go and get yours out the oven because they're done. As you can see, mine have just started to catch there. That's perfect. You don't want too much colour in them. Okay? So now when you've got that stage there is when you pop your top on. Pop your top on. Pop your top on. Top. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for Baz to reassemble. <laughs> Baz's gone, he disappeared. <laughs> I don't know, he, he, he like shot off, but I'm hoping he's getting his marshmallow out of the, out of the oven because... He's probably made one earlier and just... Going, yeah, he's going to come back and go to the... Go. He's got a big wagon wheel, hasn't he? He sent Terry out down the shop. <laughs> Right, so for everybody else, are we still on? Because oh, yep, Baz is totally gone. Right. Oh, okay, that's gone. Right. Everybody else, oh, let's see. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Baz is back. Right, have you took it out of the oven, Baz? <laughs> Quick run. Hang on, I lost you there. He's out of form ties. Right, I've got me in the oven. What do we do now? Now you stick the top on. Can you see how I've done mine? Just lift it, gently lift it on, push it onto your marshmallows, give it a little pan, and it stick on there. This is the coup de grace, Gary. This is the bit you've been waiting for. <laughs> right, so now you need to get your bits on as best as you can to make that shape back again. Try and keep it as level as you can. And basically, you want to fill the whole surface. Um, like, you just do a jigsaw, a round jigsaw. There you go. We'll get it on. Say, as usual, uh, melts there. Now we have a mountain on top. I think it might go wrong. Uh, just, just, if you've got loads of my small marshmallows and they've melted, get your top on, press it down. My marshmallows are all oozing out the side. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry about it because they're set back up in a minute. Once you leave them, they're, they set back up. See, look, if you can see mine. Yeah, mine are like spreading. Right, so give it about, grab a little knife, push them back in. Yeah, you've got to be level, but can't be, we don't want a mountain. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a hill. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a hill, but. Please push it. Push need, it need, need a mountain. That's it, just, <laughs> just spread it around a little bit. <laughs> Basically, you need every bit to stick in there somehow. We're trying to stick it in that marshmallow. So give it a little pat down as well. A little gentle pat down. There you go. Push it down. That's it. Keep pushing it down. Have we covered all the marshmallow up? That looks good. You're too kind, Helen, if you're talking to me. Yes, <laughs> Is, I've seen worse. No, that's good. That, we can cover that. Right, that's so that's fine. all pressed down, right? And it's all sort of stuck into the marshmallow, yeah? Nobody, nobody likes to show off, Josie, least of all. No, look at it's a state! And he scrapes some of the marshmallow off. No, no, no. Wait, when it's covered with chocolate. It's going to run over. Honestly. Oh, there you go, everyone. That was that, eh? That's good. Have you all right? Oh, yeah. Oh. 
that. Yep. Right, Josie, you, what you need to do is just leave it for about two minutes. Yeah. And then you'll be able to move that marshmallow back in with a knife. Right. What did you put it in the oven for? The, hours, the allotted time. There's four minutes. <laughs> How much your oven with this now? Throw it in the bin. Sorry? What, what do I want me to do now with this? Did it go in the bin? No. It's going to taste wicked. Trust me. Right, so now what you you Gary, you're an optimist. Yeah, always the optimist. Right, is your marshmallow, if you get a knife, you should be able to... Yeah, you should be able to, yeah. Ow. Knife, 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 yeah. Right, so if you just get a knife, what you want to do is just push the marshmallow in because it's it'd be manoeuvrable now because it's turned back into a state. And then you should be able to level that off and you'll, you'll end up with a bit of a circle. Yeah, right, I'll okay. Is it working? Is it going back in? It should be. It's getting worse. Look at it. It's like the tectonic plates moving apart. Darren says that for here. This will be North America in five minutes. <laughs> this is absolutely it's not atrocious. Is it true? Alright. <laughs> right. I would do yours, Baz. Leave, leave yours as it is, Baz. We'll cover that in chocolate. I will be able to hide that in the chocolate. Trust me. You'll be you'll be amazed. Right, Josie, go back to you. Josie, talk. What are you doing? Well look, like I said, Pangea is separate. And I am now got something about to drop off the edge of the earth. Right, so you need to push your marsh, push your biscuits back together, and they should start holding together. How's that, Gary? <laughs> I can hear you laughing, Helen. I can hear you laughing. <laughs> we'll, we'll be able to. He's got a Union Jack there. Yeah. Oven <laughs> juice. That's proper melt with your marshmallows. Mine were only in like four minutes at a time. Mine were only in for the same amount of time yours were in. <laughs> you cut these marshmallows off. There's no pushing them back in. I'll I'd learn to teach them myself. Right, cut them bits back off. You can even put them back on the top in your in your holes if you want. Oh man, this is worth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel quite good about mine now. That's pretty much that. Hey Gary, can you can you stop showing us yours, please? <laughs> If it can't be a good example, at least it's a horrible warning. That's my philosophy. You're not helping, mate. You're not helping. How is everybody else doing? Is everybody else all cool? Well, Messages, um, let us know if they look like mine. Mark James. You're all suffering from continental drift. This has been dropped on the card. Oh, more Paul Damon. This is all going. <laughs> mine. Hey, do you want to see my marshmallow on the card? Little Helen, she's doing good. That's my marshmallow off-cut so far. Yeah, don't throw that. Use that again in case. Don't, don't throw that. That's my key. So I've got marshmallow there. It's cooled down. And it says... looks like that. Alexandra Jones is good. Yes, we've got one. We've got one. One's in. Okay. Oh, Darren Edwards, disaster here. Trust me, all these disasters will not be a problem once we have chocolate in your mouth. Am I going to try and get it off the tray now? Yeah? Ian Horgan said, you better than Baz's. Right, hang on a sec. Baz, ask me a question. Right. If you can get that, that plate, that would be magic, Baz. Tip it onto the plate. Yeah, tip it. Don't you do it. Yeah. I think magic is the only way it's going to get on that plate, Gary. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my that... God. <laughs> right, better you can make this back into a shape. So just get it onto this plate. Are you ready, Gary? Yep, yeah, I'm ready. Go on. Are you going to catch it? going to catch it, yeah. Fell off that. The bottoms fell off. <laughs> I 
I'll tell you why. It's lucky you're good at singing music. And... <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Right. Come on, Gary. Do your stuff. Right. We're in. We've got this. Right. Now, now, Bass, try and get that into a round shape. <laughs> I hope you're happy with yourself, Cox. <laughs> oh man, no one's ever going to come to my shop again, are they? They're going to think I'm terrible. Right. If we. <laughs> this was for my nan. I was going to give this to me nan. I can't give this to me nan now, can I? I think I'm a failure. <laughs> oh. oh, right, what are you going to do? Right, okay. <laughs> right, um, <laughs> let me think. Oh, man, you stumped me. Um, Take that one. If we can oh. get it into a round shape. We still got the chocolate. It's kind of in a round shape, Gary. Yeah, we're not kind of doing it. Right, so everybody, what's yours like, Josie? Are you okay now or not? No, it's hemorrhaging. It keeps, I keep scraping it out and then it just flattens some more and separates some more. Are you on a bit of paper there, yeah? Yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. Oh, so you'll be able, right. once we get yours, will be fine. Let's get the chocolate. Right, hopefully everybody else has got something like that. <laughs> Mine, mine's set now. As oh. you can see, it's sort of all in there. The marshmallow's in and... So now you want to take your chocolate ganache and we want to spread it over it. So you need a knife for this. Doesn't need to be a point first. Right, I'm going to have to go through this. Right, so that's... Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> Right then, so I've got <clears throat> chocolate ganache there. Yep. It's sort of thickish. Hey Terry, yeah. come and have a look at me. Uh, come and have a look at me. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you should have like thick chocolate like that. So we're just going to see. Gary assures me that we can hide all these Right, so we can hide it, though. it doesn't matter. <laughs> so spreading chocolate on top. That's yep. it. And then spread from the middle. And then spread, spread the out. Oh, my God. Know the middle, Gary. Lila's looking through your your arm. She's like... <laughs> right, what's that saying? Sorry, Baz. All right. I saw it now. Right, so yeah. I've filled the top. Lila, does I that look nice? What does it look like, Lila? It looks like. What does it look like? Come on. What does it look like? Come on. It looks like a trampoline. It looks like a trampoline. Everyone's a critic. Is it because it looks like it's been dumped on a lot? Everyone's a critic. Looks like a trampoline. Right, so if we just sort of... I do apologise. And then we just put <gasps> your finger in. Work it into there like so. And then you'll notice the chocolate should start to set up a little bit. It's all pliable in about two, three minutes. And then we will lift this up. Oh, Layla. This is the worst. This, is, it looks, this looks like something from another universe. Five, ten, ten, ten. Try it, Lex. Try it. Try it, Lex. wouldn't have, Wagon wheels wouldn't have been the global success if they'd have made them back in the day. Try it, Lex. 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 Try it,
and you just work it around. You can run it down onto the plate because we'll lift it up in a minute. You'll be able to lift it up and tidy the edges up. Look at, look at Gary's look, Lila. That's how it's supposed to look. Alright, when we get that. Gary's looking the best. Where does Josie's look? Josie's good. Josie's just melted. The whole marshmallow turns to water. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's good. Oh, Josie. Like because when I got the shortbread out of the oven, he, he, he just fell apart. It was just. It was just... <laughs> to be fair, I probably should have told you we needed baking powder. Uh, baking parchment. Please, can, we, can we try the cake? You can, yeah, try it. Put your finger on some. Yeah, have a little chocolate. Right, that moment, what I'm going to do is pop this in the fridge because it's so hot here, the chocolate's struggling to burn up. Put that in the for three minutes and then you'll be able to see it again. Put That's it in the bin for three minutes. Don't like it Okay, I'll just keep it's going. Going. Going in the fridge, Gary. Right, you said put it in the fridge. Yeah, I've, what I've done is put my chocolate in the fridge. What's your chocolate like? Well, it's pretty much like the rest of it, really awful. <laughs> I don't think putting it in the fridge is going to make any difference to this cake, Gary, to be honest. I, I want to try it. It might just, it might just, it might just make me feel better because it'll get it out of my sight for three minutes. Yeah, well, my chicken is really hot, struggling to like up. But if I put it in the fridge for about two minutes, but in a minute, if you pop yours in the fridge, Baz, yeah. in a minute, you'll be able to model the chocolate. The chocolate, uh, be able, to spread, be able to spread the chocolate and make a shape. There is no shape, Gary. It has no shape. Yeah, it will in a second. Trust me. Oh my god, there's no room in the fridge, you've got chocolate everywhere. You're silly here, weren't you, Lila? <laughs> what are you doing? Daddy, look. Daddy, Kate, look. Right, so, Grant. I can't remember if froze, so I don't know where. Is yours not? For two minutes, bring it out, and you'll be able to smooth that chocolate off and have two beds. You just need that chocolate to cool down a fraction. In the winter, you don't get a problem. But in the summer, it's a lot harder because of heat and everything. You got a question? Yeah, yeah. I, I blame the summer for, for uh, it being harder. To do. Yeah. That's my excuse. We'll do it again in November. <laughs> 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 right, so hopefully everybody else has got that chocolate on, so you can spread it out, get layer, get your edges round, let it firm up, and then get a couple of spatulas underneath, take it out, put it on your serving plate, and then stick your decorations on, whatever decorations you've gone for. Um, I don't know, Josie said she had something big, I think. Is it going to fit on there? Well, now that it's a pie, basically, I've turned this into a dessert, not a cake. So it's basically in a pie dish now. Can you see that? No, are you... Sorry, hang on. Can you yourself. see that? No, I can't see you. Oh, hello, hello. I can hear you, I can't see you. You can't see me. No, you it looks like a giant Jaffa cake. Yeah, it's basically an oversized Jaffa cake. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to like serve it with a. Yeah, everything oh. the firm 
And that's the thing. Once that marshmallow sets back up, it holds everything together. That's what I was saying with yours, Baz. The marshmallow will put back up. The marshmallow's all in here now. It won't, Gary. It's too far gone. It's knackered. Oh, you need your back, Jake. But how's everybody else getting on? Are we all, we all good, or has anybody else got any issues? I think they just all enjoyed watching everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my chocolate has split and gone oily. Um, did you what use rubbish did chocolate? Because you, yeah. you didn't use expensive chocolate, that happens. Um, so Paul Damon said his chocolate is a bit messy, but it'll tidy it up. Yeah, because if you, I know mean, mine's still, still hot. Has anyone else got melted marshmallow in their hair? No. <laughs> I haven't got no hair. Simon Murray said mine looks better than Josie's. That's a bit rude. No, I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> right, well, I'm still waiting for mine to set up. Um, right, Baz, what are, what's yours looking like in the fridge? Go, go and have a feel of your chocolate. Vicky Farben said, I thought you said this was an easy one. It, it is easy. <laughs> Paul Damon said, being by the... Being by... The funniest by far, love it. Uh, it's before nine o'clock, Gary. I don't really want to say what it looks like. But right, is it firmed up? No. Looking quite good now, Baz. It's like chocolate yogurt on top of it. Yeah, look, see, look, it's starting to come in it. Have you got any more chocolate there? No. Oh, would you put all the chocolate on there? I've yeah. got half a jug. Have some of this. Oh, cheers, thanks. But it's all your <laughs> right. It's all your chocolate it. on. It's <clears throat> quite good. Yeah, go on, tip it on, Jody. You definitely get um, most improved player. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Hang on. Hang on. Right. Hang on. Yeah. Now, if you take the knife, yeah, that that's helped. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, yeah. Right, Baz, yeah, if you yeah. you can you no, you don't need to do it. It's too hard. If you take a knife, Baz, you'll be able to level all that off and smooth the edges and make it look like a wax. There are, there are no edges, Gary. It's, there are no edges. It is just like a big pile of stones. You know, like a big pile of rubble. It's got no edges. It's just horrendous. You use the chocolate to hide it. Cement. You know how cement hides everything? You just smooth it over. That's what you're doing now. You're cementing. You're a builder. You do building stuff. I don't do that, but that's what... That's what you're doing now. You're basically hiding it. And you're using your chocolate as cement. And you're just like a polyfiller. Just polyfiller it all up. It's a hideous mess. Yeah, so now, right, Baz, you want to go around the edges. Um, let me show you on mine. See, my chocolate's still hot because I forgot to put it in the fridge. But you need to get your chocolate up. You need to go around that edge like that. And then spread the top as well. David Langmaid is doing okay. Aaron. Oh. Who got like a mixed? Looking forward to seeing the photos of these ones. Photos, they'll be good. Still got half my chocolate left, but I can't really put it on it because the dish is overflowing. You know, just put it in the fridge at key for two weeks. You can make up a case for it, Josie. Pancakes, chocolate pancakes. That tastes good. Chocolate is so hot. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Got very quiet. Are we still on? Yeah. We're still um, on. Josie, I, I keep cutting out. I've got Baz's frozen. 
And there's no picture of you. I don't know what everybody else has got. What you got, then? Yeah, I'm just still there. Problem I got is my chocolate's just not setting up yet. It's just so hot here at the moment. It's like about 30 degrees in there. But as you can see, Baz, you see what I'm saying? You can just shape all this around. Yeah, but, yeah, but the mine has no size. It's just a pile of crack. <laughs> it's just a big pile of crack with chocolate on top of it. Have you got ice there is no, There is no shape. <laughs> I've made a wicked decoration for the top. The jam is the big, biggest success of my um, baking today. Cost only. Literally cannot get my chocolate set. Do my head in. Right, I'm in the freezer with my chocolate now because I need it to set up. Right, so there's my decoration for the top. Try not to make it. I like it. That's made up. Took me bloody hours to do that. Um, there we go. Is that a better view? Oh, don't drop it. Yay! That's wicked. I know. I feel like it's I got. So that's going on the top of mine. Right, so we got to be sort of getting there now. I've got mine in the freezer, so hopefully in about five minutes it'll be done. I can show you the finished article. We'll have my decoration on top, and then hopefully, has anybody else got any more issues they need yeah. to sort out before we sign off? Um, so Baz, of course, is back in. Baz is back in the fridge. This bird is very unwell. Look at the state of that bowl. Ugh. I wonder if no. Nah, so I've got nothing on this iPad. I'm having that I can only see on here. What's with the bowl? Right, so let's have a look at yours. Could be ten minutes behind. Well, it's like um, come ten minutes. It's like 10 a delay. Yeah, yeah, come ten minutes. Right, so what is yours, Josie? Let's have a look. At <laughs> mine is um, mine is a marshmallow pie. Not a wagon wheel. I've just come to terms with that and accepted it for what it is. But when that chocolate. Yeah. It will probably come. What have you put it in a pie dish then? Have you? It's in like a gla a Pyrex plate. It, it, it will pop out. Uh, and look at that, uh, I admire your optimism. Oh, it's popping anywhere. You go, so you it. pop out. It's like a school dinner pudding. Like you'll need to serve it with one of these, and it will slop out. And you have it with custard. It's it marshmallow in the morning. Huh? Oh my god, everyone's going to sauce. <laughs> so, I don't know, Darren, even his is gone. It's like the easiest thing to make, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, so I've, I've turned rubbish in this teaching, now, haven't I? Chocolate. I think it was just quite ambitious, this one. Yeah, the chocolate, I'm, I'm struggling to set my chocolate at a temperature, it's so hot, that's the problem. Good night. Oh, Aisha's just going to work now. All right, have a good night at work, Luby Lou, be safe. <laughs> it's supposed to weigh about four stone. Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, it is, uh, there's a lot of chocolate and biscuit and pillows in there. Right, so Baz, is yours set up yet? Can you manoeuvre it around a bit more or not? Yeah, yeah boy, 
plus yeah. bales of sliced and sugar. Of cuts. No. Yeah, it looks like a cow was in an accident on my plate, is what it looks like. <laughs> right, when that sets up, in about an hour's time, you'll be able to cut that, and I'll bet you it tastes good. Guarantee it. You're a braver man than me. I'll send you some in the post. <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> Right, let's see if mine's done. <laughs> right, can you ask? I think mine's ever going to come out of that dish. It's going to be eaten with a spoon from the dish. Right, there we go. My chocolate. I've just put mine in the freezer to get the chocolate down a bit. Now, now it's working. So, if anybody else is struggling with a chocolate, if you've got a big enough freezer, just chuck it in your in there. I think Josie's just eating all her chocolate. Right, I'll be able to have mine off the plate in about two seconds. Right, anybody else got anything else they want me to sort out before we sign off? You've got to put the thing on here. Yeah, oh, right. on there. Remember, yeah, if you want to wait for the I think this way. <laughs> <laughs> three weeks, three weeks just, till the Woodlands album is out, everybody. If you haven't ordered it, order it now because it sounds better than the um, cow pack. <laughs> What's that, the album? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it's not decent. Nice. It looks crap from every angle. I can't. Sorry, sprinkles. That's all right. Get a bit, get, back, get some kitchen towel and clean the plate around the edges, and and put some sprinkles on it, and it'll be fine. Yeah, sprinkles. It works. Right, there's there's one wagon wheel there. Get the decoration on top. Trying to peel this off, and that's going to be a nightmare. Uh, quite proud of that. In a kind of sick and twisty kind of a way. Mark oh, James says, any more signed CDs left? Any more signed CDs left, Baz, on your website? Just come to oh, a gig. I... They'll sign them. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we don't, you say you pre-order them, but you don't, you don't pre-order them from us, so we sign a lot and then send them back to e -Rake and then we don't really sign anymore, but if you want it, anything signed, I'll sign anything, mate. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you will get a ticket for a gig when we start back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry about that, mate. You're on any guest list you want after this. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've kind of... Move mine off a little bit there. So, yeah, kind of looks like mine, that. Giant wagon, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mine looks like that. Get me thing on, and then we're. Um, your camcorder is gone. I've got some sprinkles. I've got some sprinkles on it because they might hide the fact that it looks dreadful. They will. Yeah. Okay. Hey. My bad. Delicious. Now it's like unicorn poo. Everyone likes a few sprinkles, don't they? <laughs> absolutely rank. This looks absolutely <laughs> Give it great. It tastes lush. When you get to eat it later on. I'm not eating it, Gary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't waste it's it. Too good to eat. Too good to eat. I might look stupid. <laughs> There you are, I've right? got some sprinkles on it, God. Now, now it just looks terrible with sprinkles on, doesn't it? Don't have a seat. You've got a closer investigate. Okay, so now I'm going to pick you up. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, look. Daddy made that. 
Does that look nice, Lila? <laughs> there we go. So that's uh, finished article. Um, there you go. Gary's looks amazing, doesn't it? So well done, Gary. Thank you very much, Lila. There we go. So that's, that's my wagon wheel with the House of Noise new album, oh, Coconut, made out of chocolate. Everybody should go and buy it because it's going to be an amazing amount. I can't wait to hear the carry song. Right, <laughs> so, I haven't listened to that yet. This, this episode of Bake Off should be called The Good Example and the Horrible Warnings. That's actually called what? The Good Example and the Horrible Warnings. <laughs> Okay, can I have a bite of cake? In about a month, Lila, when it's gone, when it's set, you can have some. <laughs> right, right. So, does anybody else want to ask me any more questions before we sign off? Does uh, anybody who wants a cake? Yeah. How many? Look, right, everybody, if you've done your wagon wheel, don't forget, go onto our page, post it, tag your name in it, etc., etc. Whoever wins, Baz is going to pick out a winner and they will be able to have some clover. Look at a piece of Baz's cake. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what you win. You could win this. Baz's cake will be sent to you in the post. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so don't forget to post all your pictures. Right, met, met, ask Hel, she will pass message on because we're signing off in about two, three Where minutes. Where do we post the pictures? Post pictures on Premier Pastries Pie Shop. Or in the link with um, uh, what was it, the Rock and Roll Pie Man link that everybody more than likely followed. But if okay. you just tag Premier Pastries Pie Shop in it, I'll get them. Mark and to take a cross section. We need to see the layers as well. We want, we want to. A... Oh, nice one, Josie. Yeah, good so one, Mark. Picture, picture <laughs> decorations, and then I'm we really... want a picture cut in half so we can see that there is an actual top to it and not a jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> And I need to know how fish looked there. Not yet. Rubble cake. It's not even crumble, it's rubble. Yeah, it's but yeah. You just rename it. It's a massive wagon wheel. It's a Barney rubble cake. It's the rubble cake. Of course it is. Is that not what we were making? That's what was on that. That's the memo I got. Just got another one. Deadline, deadline. When are you going to marry it? You can't make another one. Let's go. When are you going to judge it? <laughs> Monday, we give everybody till Monday, get the pictures in. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Monday, I'll do it Monday, yeah. Yeah, over the weekend, yeah. Cool. Get yeah, everybody Monday. So get your pictures in by Monday and then uh, pass it just and then we'll let you know who the winner is and uh, cool. do that. Right. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed it. Hopefully, you've got something to eat at the end of it. Um, <laughs> if you've got any issues, message me. I'll message you back and we'll sort it out. Um, but I think we're kind of done now, so we're sign off. Um, it's been great fun. Thank you, Baz, for coming on. It's been hilarious. Everybody's been the funniest one ever. Yeah. <laughs> so enjoyed it. Uh, thank you, Clovernoof Rum, for sponsoring it and handing out the prizes for everybody and uh, everything else. And Rock Peak Management for sorting it all out. And then don't forget, we've got one more to go, haven't we? Um, I can't even remember the date of that, Josie, can you? 13 stars, is that the 27th? Oh, isn't it, when doing Both. Baked Alaska. If we can't do Massive Wagon, well, we're going to struggle with Baked Alaska. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we're going to sign off now. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. I hope you've had a good laugh and a chuckle. And uh, that's what it's all about, just chilling out in these times when we can't go out. Uh, if you want to go and buy their album, if you don't know Baz and you're just a customer, go and check them out. Massive wagons Don't judge my music on my cooking skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go yeah. and watch the new video. That new video is amazing, by the way. Nonsense, isn't it? I love it. It's, it's like the hundreds of thousands version of... It's like your cake version in video form. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, something else, isn't it? Right. We're going to sign off now. Yeah, guys. Uh, Bye. Yes, Bye, Lila. Bye. Hope you enjoy your cake. Bye. Bye, bye, Lila. Bye. <laughs> yeah, make sure, make sure we turn off this time. Turn so off. Fast. Right, so I'll make sure I turn me.